this is George Mount from Enterprise DNA, and in this tutorial, you will learn how to write ggplot2 plots to Excel. Okay, so ggplot2 is a well known R package for data visualization. Uh, we are going to extend that over to Excel via the OpenXLSX package. Uh, this is used to read, write, or edit XLXS files, so it needs to be the modern Excel file extension. Uh, you can use this to really fully automate the production of Excel workbooks from R. So you can think of it, and it has some similarities you'll see to VBA in terms of how it works. Uh, the nice thing with using this package is that you are able to extend the capabilities of your Excel reporting with R's capabilities. So something like ggplot2 is a great example for data visualization. ggplot2 is a very respected visualization package. Many of the top data journalists and publications use this package. And we do cover it in the R for Power BI users courses at Enterprise DNA. So you can take a look at that as well. Uh, but for our demo, we'll be focusing again on the Open, uh, open XLSX package and writing those results, particularly ggplot2 into Excel. So we're going to need to create objects in R. We're going to be able to manipulate those objects, insert everything into Excel, and then close the workbook. So let's take a look at doing this. All the resources will be available to you to download as well. Okay, so I'm here in our studio. I've got a bit of a preamble here. We're going to read in a data set, MPG, here from the web. Uh, I've also got some packages that we're using. Again, you'll see open XLSX. And let's go ahead and get started with the head function. Now again, if you want to learn a little more about the basics of profiling, exploring a data set in R, you can check out some of our courses at Enterprise DNA. Uh, but we're going to focus again on the open XLSX package. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually create a workbook object. Now this is pretty familiar if you're if you're a VBA user. Again, so I'm I'm assigning names to different objects in my workbook, my worksheets, and then I'll be able to manipulate those elements of the Excel object model. So we'll create the workbook here, uh, and then I'm going to add, we'll call it analysis sheet. You could call it really whatever you want. Uh, it's going to be add worksheet, uh, add worksheet to where, add worksheet to this workbook, uh, and then the sheet name will be, let's call it analysis. So that will actually name the Excel worksheet uh, when we ultimately open this thing up. Uh, I'm going to make a really basic linear regression. We're going to visualize those results, and then we're going to throw that into uh, Excel. Okay, so MPG, I'll call this MPGLM for linear model. Uh, again, R is really built for statistical analysis, so it does have a function out of the gate to do linear regression, and we're going to model uh, MPG on weight. This is a linear regression. And what I'm going to do here is actually tidy the results. If you're not familiar with that, I'll print this in a minute. MPGLM uh, will say MPGLM tidy. Uh, so the tidy function, the tidy package is meant to take some of R's results and put them into a more uh, consistent machine and user friendly uh, format here. So right, we've got this table, uh, we've got the intercepts, we've got uh, or the V1 the intercept, the estimate, uh, things like the p-values, everything's kind of stacked away in a consistent table shape. So that's going to make it a lot easier to put into Excel, right, because Excel likes to have things in tables as well, right? Power Query, for example, it's kind of dependent on that. Okay, so We've done that. Let's actually write this out to Excel right now. So I'm going to use write data table. Now I'm going to run this. Uh, we'll say send it to the workbook. The sheet is going to be the analysis sheet. So we defined that earlier. And we are going to say uh, x equals mpg lm tidy. So now we're actually saying, well, what, what data should go there? This is going to be written as a table in Excel. Uh, we are not going to include the row names. 
and we'll run this. Okay. And then what we're going to do is visualize this. We'll check it out first in R again, and then we'll send those results out to Excel. So we'll ggplot, and again, this is not really a ggplot uh, tutorial. You can check out some of our other resources for that. Uh, but basically what we're doing here is going to create a scatter plot. I'm going to add geom point. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is add geom smooth. Uh, the method here is going to be lm for linear uh, model. Okay, so if I run this now, we're going to see here's our regression plot. So we have weight on the x-axis, we have mpg on the y, and then we're seeing the downward sloping uh, relationship. Here is our regression fit line. So we have the coefficients here, uh, the fit values, etc. cetera. Uh, and then we are going to add the plot. So we can add this to the workbook as well. That'll be insert plot. I'll say workbook. Uh, sheet is going to be analysis sheet again. And then we can specify. So again, you know, a lot of these functions have a lot of different arguments. Some of them are optional, some are implied, etc. Uh, so what we can do here is start row at 5. We can start column at, let's say, A. Uh, we can also specify what the dimensions that we want. Width equals 4. And I'm even going to hit Enter here so we can make this look a little easier to read. Uh, and then we'll set the height to 4. Now again, if you're working with any of these functions, let me run this first. Uh, that just inserted into the plot. Uh, if you're working with any of these functions and you want to know a little more about them, you can do insert plot. I have the question mark here. Run this. The help documentation is over here. And you'll see there are quite a few arguments here. And again, like I said, uh, some of these have implied values, etc. And you can tweak them as needed. Okay. So last thing we're going to do here is specify uh, where is this report going, what's the name of it, etc. So I'm going to call this MPG report. And then I'm going to save my workbook. Uh, the name of the workbook is the workbook. So again, this is the, uh, I should say, the object, uh, the name of the workbook object that we've been using. Again, that was specified way at the beginning. That was the first thing we did. Then we added a worksheet. We could add multiple worksheets to that. Uh, we just added the one. We named that worksheet. Then we added the table. Then we added the plot. Uh, and now we are going to close things up here. So I'm going to specify, well, the name of the file is going to be MPG report. Uh, overwrite, I'm going to set this to true. In case there's a file there, it'll just automatically overwrite that. Okay. So I'm going to run this, and then we can go fetch this file and take a look. OK, so I'm over in Excel. Now, uh, the place that this file ends up at has to do with where your working directory is in R. So uh, you can tune into that uh, if you're not familiar. I'm going to just open up to my file. I knew where that directory was. And here is that report. So again, this is a table. Uh, we could name it if we wanted to. Uh, we actually could have named this table, but you see that it is a table right now. We also have the plot here underneath. And this is a nice little report. Maybe you need to run this every week and you want to shoot these results out to Excel. You have the power of R and ggplot. Uh, with the accessibility of Excel. So let's recap things here. Okay, so why would you might do this versus Excel when it comes to plotting? Uh, well, one thing is the reproducibility of ggplot. Again, everything is code-driven that we built. There's no pointing and clicking. Uh, and that makes things uh, more customizable also uh, because the same code and the same kind of uh, grammar of graphics, as it's really called ggplot, can be used to build uh, slow plots, lollipops, bar plots, whatever you want to make uh, using the same kind of consistent theories, right? Um, the downsides here, they're not interactive. So if I, this is just a static image, if I go back here to Excel, uh, this is just a, 
a static image. We can't click in here, and we, we don't have tooltips or anything like that. So that can be a downside, uh, depending on what people are looking for or used to. And again, speaking of what people are used to, you know, these ggplot plots may not be familiar to, to your users, so that could be another downside. Okay, so to recap what we did here, uh, we focused on building a ggplot2 plot and sending that out to Excel. Um, you could really build an entire report in uh, R for Excel. That could be things like conditional formatting, if you wanted to uh, add borders or headers, really any kind of thing you need to do in, in Excel you could call remotely from R. Uh, one specific use case for this would be those hard to do Excel plots, things that Excel uh, really struggles with, uh, maybe like a jitter plot, a slow plot, something like that. Um, and another nice thing is that Excel does have some statistical capabilities. Um, R's are going to be a lot more once you get into the more advanced topics, uh, generally easier to perform. So you can really augment the, uh, like I said, the accessibility of Excel with the advanced capabilities in things like stats and data visualization uh, of R. Uh, so I hope you learned something, hope you can use this and uh, take a look at our other tutorials. Again, this is George Mount with Enterprise DNA. Uh, appreciate you watching. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.